Yeah, I don't know. I, I have to talk about this. This is a this is I mean, it's a dumpster with Tesla written on the side of it. So they it actually is. did think this through a little bit. Um, apparently there are going to be, and I don't know where this is. I it's guess in Germany. Oh, so there's one in Germany. No. Okay, there's one in Germany where uh, you park to charge a supercharger, and there is a pool next to the superchargers. Yes, and you can just hang out in the pool while you charge. Which so many weird things about this. First of all, I always find it funny when you advertise things you can do that happen when you take a long time to charge, like the Ionic Five. We just got done testing it and we're working on a video with it. It has a, a driver's seat that reclines all the way back and has a foot rest to kick up. That's because why. Okay. if you are charging for an hour and a half on some random slow charger, you want to at least be comfortable. Okay. And so you can Fair. do that. Um, but ideally, you're only at a Tesla supercharger for like half an hour. Do you have time in half an hour to change, get into a bathing suit, swim around, change back, dry off, potentially shower, continue on your road trip? I guess. Maybe. I, I, I'm i not totally sure. It seems like a stretch. Um, it's Just to describe this a little bit for audio listeners, too, it's like it is a dumpster, not quite the one you'd find like behind a McDonald's or, or like outside of a building that you throw trash in. It's more of the one you would get if you were like cleaning out your house or like doing a renovation that you would rent and it would come on the back of a truck. So you're saying like a nice dumpster, like a kind of decent. In lesser words, I guess that's what, sure. what I'm saying, but not exactly my sentiment. It, it, it is funny though. It's a, it's painted. It says Tesla on the side. It is both over and under engineered. If we're considering this a pool, it looks like it has stairs into it. It looks like it has a pool wow. cover, but it also just has like cones and caution tape around it and like a hose just dangling in with water um so yeah if you want to cool off it says it's up to four people i think you could probably fit more in there but um you know <laughs> that's really funny maybe maybe there's some safety issues with it if you go more than four it also looks like it's just gone like a construction lot like there's like temporary stairs behind it it looks fine empty but if i came up to the supercharger and plugged in and i looked over behind the chargers and there was like three people in a dumpster I wouldn't just, like, swim, even think about out. getting into that dumpster with people. But then again, what other chargers can you swim around? And, fair, uh, fair. They're revolutionizing the game. Um, I, I like also the the article had just a couple really funny lines. I'm just gonna throw one out there that was too golden not to talk about. Um, quote: Apparently, it's meant for four occupants, assuming there are four people who fit the cross section of wealthy enough to own a Tesla and likes to sit in wet dumpsters. Just call it dumpsters. Brilliant. Game. It's fantastic. My next quick hit here I have is um remember the Polestar O2, their like roadster concept? This is the one we talked about when we first saw the video of the drone flying off the yes, back of the Polestar yes. concept. Okay, yes, I remember this. Yeah, what do you uh, like? I feel like what I mostly remember about it is the drone and just that like I really digged how it looked. I thought it looked really sharp. Yeah, the, the aesthetic of the Polestar is definitely the the thing that was most notable to me. I love yes. the thing, it looks amazing. Um the specs, I think we are actually getting a little bit more information on. So I, I do have 3.2 seconds, 0 to 60. So 3. clearly, 3. if like we want to immediately compare this to the Roadster, slower. Right. Well, yeah, Tesla Roadster. I don't know. Yeah. We don't. There's no price, right, for this? Not that I know of. Um, the main thing I wanted to talk about here is, and the reason it's in the news is because it says they set a release date for 2026, which I found really interesting. I don't think we've had something that's had like, that far out of the is it safe to say in the ev world we're way more used to seeing a within one year release date and seeing that being delayed rather than like right. giving themselves the buffer yeah we get the promise of one thing yeah and it's usually like two three years away like i'm seeing some 2024 promises maybe 2025 as far as individual models mm -hmm. and then we have companies going we'll have some electric stuff by 2030 and you don't really know what it is but as far as this car that you can see here not coming for another four years, that's kind of a while. But maybe under promise over deliver is is their way to go. I would like Polestar. to think that. I have one other, and it could be both, one other theory on this. And is it potentially just we had a really, really good first uh news release and like it did really well. Like our our clip of it did awesome. People were really interested in yeah, it. It's interesting. Is it like, oh, this died down a little bit, you know? It's a while away, but let's throw a release date out there. Let's get in the news cycle again. It, it kind of almost reminds me, while still way too far away, of like the uh, the Apple purple iPhone, like another another shot in the press in the news cycle, or like a new OnePlus color news cycle refresh. Yeah, you know my read on this. Yeah, my read on this is they made the concept video 
and never had any intention of making the car, but it was received so well that they said, you know what, let's try to make it. And so they're going to need a couple years of R&D to actually get started with this. And now they're going to try to make one. I like that. Um, I have two questions for you, pure speculation questions. Sure. Um, one, do you think it has the drone attached to it? Uh, or give me a percentage of how likely is it to have the drone? So there's 0% chance it works exactly how we saw it in the video. But, okay. but... Will they like find a way to build a drone into the car? Maybe I'd give that a thirty percent chance. I was gonna go twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I have pretty low expectations for that. Um, next question: Do you think this comes out before the Tesla Roadster, or which do you think comes out first? Uh, wow. Well, the <laughs> the Roadster was announced in twenty seventeen. I think the Tesla Roadster comes out before this. I agree because Tesla's theoretically further along in R and D, I mm-hmm. think maybe, and I also have a lot of people's money, and so maybe there's <laughs> theoretically some lawsuits that could start to creep up if they don't deliver a car. Like it's been now, what has it been? Five years since they took the money, promising something in 2020. Mm-hmm. You know, someone's eventually going to get mad enough to say something, right? So. Yeah, maybe a little bit extra pressure to Tesla. I, I think that's funny. So, like, my thought on this was, I did think I do think Tesla Roadster comes out first, but if it doesn't, that means it will be going on close to ten years since they've taken payments. Well, yeah, if, if they go if all the way this, to twenty twenty six, yeah, yeah, that that's I've never seen anything like that in the car world. I mean, there's crazy stuff in the exotic world where it's like, yeah, I ordered the Koenigsegg Gemera when I just saw like one working prototype, and I gave Koenigsegg a million dollars, and I'll get the car in a decade, but. Uh, that's a million dollars. That's for a different yeah. type of human where there's this weird like Tesla Roadster cult that's like, when's this car coming out? It's got to come out soon, right? We don't know. Yeah, now we'll see. But I do like the Polestar idea. I, I'm excited for it. I love the look of this. I I, I like really sharp lines. So I really like the, the like Polestar boxy. Polestar is all sharp Pol- lines. It's really nice. Um, Polestar is nice. We'll see. I do like that it's also like, it is Polestar who has some cars out already. Like this is not a total. I could see like one of these totally random companies we've warned people about saying 2026, and I feel I don't think that's interesting as a headline. But this is like a car company that's making cars already, giving a four to five year time, yeah. which is interesting. It's like what's the craziest thing about making this car? Like it's a convertible two door EV, which we haven't seen any. Correct me if I'm wrong. We haven't seen any convertible EVs with long range, right? All of the like decently long range EVs are very aerodynamic and not convertible. If there's one, it's like a very specific one. And, you know, it's not one of the main ones we talk about all the time. Yeah. I'm sure there's always someone who so, finds something. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a couple two-door EVs out there. It's not that crazy to decide to make a 3.2 second zero to 60 EV in four years. You could make that today. Yeah. So, I, you know, I don't think this is the craziest promise ever. I think the Roadster's such a crazy promise that people are just like, yeah, it's never happening. So I wouldn't be shocked if if Polestar over delivers on this one. Hopefully. But we'll see. Fingers yeah, crossed. Convertible. I've never seen a long range EV convertible and I'm very curious what type of what type of stuff that does to your range. Can't be that good. This waveform clip is brought to you by the comment that you are typing right now. It's actually an ad. I don't know if you know that, but when you hit post, that's an ad. Ad, that's just how it works here now. Is it? Yeah. Okay. When we say free ad supported, we, we really mean free comment supported, but it's actually you that we chose. You're seeing this outro. You are writing the ads for this video. Appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading whatever you wrote. Your ads? Yep. We like ads. Do we? Like your ads. We anyway. like your... Okay. <laughs>